Hello and welcome once again. Uh, my name is John Chapman and I'm the author of a soon to be released book uh, by the name of James of Gallandar, fancy novel. Um, now, what I normally do is talk about what I've done the previous week and then I move on to the main topic. Um, this time I'll give you an, um, an option to skip ahead because I do waffle on a bit so if you want to skip ahead, um, there you go. For those of you who like a bit of waffle, stay here. Okay, so as I said last week, um, I was preoccupied with um, taxi license test um, and I suffer from nerves quite quite badly even though I can drive pretty well um, when it came to the morning of the test um, I was in a bit of a state <laughs> um, so uh, my heart was beating a little too fast and hard um, and I was sweating and all that and I thought right it's no good I'm just gonna have to go for a walk so I went a walk for a walk around the block and that did calm me down a bit um, and fortunately fortunately the 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 um, examiner was quite a nice chap um, and he put me put me at ease um, and it went okay and I passed um, but uh, yeah it was I, I kind of drove it was kind of all a blur really um, not not that I was you know I was driving sensibly and, and safely um, but um, you know I just don't think you drive at your best oh I don't drive at my best when there's someone sat there scrutinizing you but anyway it all went to plan and um, yeah then I, I got it back in my car and headed for the council offices in a town called Tiverton Mid Devon um, to apply for my license um, and there I, I ran into a few problems um, so oh by the way I'm I know I look a bit silly uh, today I'm, I was gonna make myself look better by thought bugger um, you know I don't really care how I look and I don't imagine you do either so I'll carry on um, uh, also, you know, later I'll be talking about what I've been working on as a lino cut print. Anyway, um, so the they I brought all the documentation I they requested, and there was a lot. I needed a passport, my license, things with addresses on, uh, my certificate, uh, t pass certificate, um, all manner of things. And then I sat in front of a woman who said that I had a document, you know, two things of address. One, one was my taxi, um, my car insurance, and the other was um, an official document from the government uh, regarding tax. And, and but she wouldn't have it. It had to be either a, a utility bill or um, what was the other one? A bank statement. So right, fine, fine. Well, I'll have to do that another day. Um, and then the next thing she said was that you need to have proof that you can speak English adequately. And I said, are you joke? That's a joke, yeah? And she said, no, no, we need, it's got to be a level, you know, we've, we've, we've uh, brought this in last year. Everyone's got to prove they can speak English um, adequately. Um, and she even said, well, I, I can tell you, you speak English all right, because we're talking now. And I, I thought, Yes, yeah, you're right there. Anyway, got to do that. So I've got to try and unearth my ancient uh, GCSE in English, uh, if I can find it. Um, if not, I've got to take a, an, an English uh, test, which again will cost more money, which is probably what they're hoping for. Anyway, the final thing was um, she said, well, yeah, bring everything at the end and when you have your final interview. And I said, what do you mean by interview? And she said, well, that's when I'll be giving you the, um, the knowledge test um, of the Mid-Devon area. 
And I said, you, you are aware that I'm not going to be a taxi driver. I'm going to be driving one student to school and back again, same student all year round. She said, oh, well, yes, but we've got to do it for everyone. So now I've got to study the, um, the geography of Mid-Devon. If I fail that, and then there's, yes, you've guessed it, another charge. Anyway, let's just hope all that goes well. Um, anyway, it's going to put it forward another few weeks, so uh, money's running out and all that, but I can't do anything about it. Hmm. Um, yeah, so due to the fact that I was so nervous about this test, I couldn't concentrate on working on the cover art as I intended. And so I, I thought, right, I'll just do something else, something totally different. Um, and so I had this idea that I might do a little illustration for the, the title page in the book, where you have the title before the, the story begins properly. Um, I had this idea in my head for a while of what it might be, um, and then I, I did a little sketch um, there, um, and I thought, yeah, it might be okay. So then I, on, I think on the day before the test, I worked it into a drawing that I could use to make a lino cut. Um, for those of you who don't know what a, a lino cut print is, it's um, it's a it's a fairly well it's a primitive form of printing, um, a, a derived from woodblock printing, um, and there's a reason why I've chosen this particular um, approach, um, and it's because of, again relating to Japanese culture and and their tradition of woodblock printing. Uh, during the Edo period, um, between the 1600s and the 1800s, it was used a lot for um, producing books, um, and they became really amazing at it. Um, I didn't have the time or the ability to learn woodblock printing, so I fell back on lino cut printing, which I've done quite a bit in the past. Um, some of you may have done it at school. It's just a very simple way of, of printing, the, the, the lino is very easy to cut. Um, it's a bit more fragile than obviously than a woodblock, so you can't, you can get some amazing detailing actually, but um, it's, it's, it's a bit more fragile, so it can go wrong. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so in the book, there's um, a kind of, a, they use, uh, there are, wood carvings that they use to well, I'll talk about this another time but they have their stories within these carved walls um, panels so again I, I, I wanted this illustration to have that aesthetic of a, of a carving that's why the the other there's two other illustrations in the book that have the same kind of style although I didn't do it as a line of print so that's why I did that so Whilst I've been speaking, hopefully I've been putting up, well, there's going to be a progression. This is me gradually carving the lino cut plate. Um, it's actually a very therapeutic uh, thing to do. Um, it's very relaxing, although I've got problems with my wrist. Um, so it's it's quite painful now, but, um, but um, and it's time consuming. And if you make one tiny mistake, um, that's, that's the end of it, I'm afraid. There's not much you can do about it. Um, I'll just show you very quickly. These are the kind of tools I've used. Uh, if you look for tutorials on YouTube, professional carvers, uh, printmakers will use very expensive tools. I looked into that and I thought, there's no way in hell I'm paying all that. So I've just got very simple ones. This is a German, a German made one. This one with this particular head is used for very um, fine lines. Um, then I've got like a gouger. Oh, this is another VTOL. Um, and I've got a gouger as well for big areas. And just a simple scalpel for things that, for even tiny things. So once the, I uh, literally just finished carving the plate. I wasn't sure I'd have enough time to make the this video, but I have. Um, so it's all done. Um, oh, oh, I'm going to show you the finished one now. So here we are, that's the finished plate, if 
you go a bit closer you can see all the car the, the gouging hopefully of it's quite a complicated design um so briefly i'll just say what what you may have already seen is that once you've got the image you want i mean you can draw directly on the plate and carve directly on it which is what i normally do this one i want to get the image just right so i got the drawing then used some carbon paper laid it on the plate drew around it there's yeah i'll put that up now um but then you get a very simple drawing so you've got to ink over it again as to where you want the lines to be and all that so a very time consuming thing it's taken me a whole week to to do that so now i've just this moment finished i've got a toothbrush and brushed it all i'll get all the dust off um and so what i'm going to do now is um I'll, I'll, i will make a cut here so you ain't got to see me anyway um and i'll do the first print of it so you can see we'll both we'll all see at the same time now on the first print you very rarely get it just right you normally do the first print just to see if there are any problems there normally are there's areas that maybe i haven't gone deep enough um and they'll show through so what i'll do now is i'll stop here and um i'll get everything ready and uh we'll go from there okay see you in a bit okay hello welcome back just get the beard in there we go right so i've got a bit of ink out um the first thing is to oh crikey i've got a couple of different rollers here um that's good prep well the rollers are a bit dusty anyway it doesn't matter got a big one and a small one so the thing is with this one, this design, we've got a lot of area here where there's no design. If I use the great big big one, go over, it's going to pick up all this ridge. So I'll use the little one for the border, that's the plan, and then go over with the big one. Let's see what happens. Right, um, oh, I haven't got enough room. This is my, I've got a very small desk, as you can see. Let's get this little thing out of the way. Right, so this is just a... A water-based ink. Oh my god! <laughs> um, yeah, so it's quite easy to clean up because it's going to go everywhere. I can feel it. Now, what we want is a very, very fine layer. I think I've put too much on there. Let's push it over there. On a very, very dry, well, as dry as it can be, layer. So the thicker it is, the more chance it, there is of it going into all the all the lines and some of the lines I've got there are very fine so I don't want to I don't want it to sink in there if possible. It smells quite nice actually this paint. Hmm. Don't worry it's not there's not any solvents in I'm not gonna go do dally. I don't know what this I don't know what the sound's gonna be like I'm sorry if it's not very good. The good thing about the, the if you use a nice wooden um, background as well um, uh, to put the paint on, you, you you get some of the wood grain effect when you transfer it to the to the print. Funnily enough, it's quite so you get a nice effect. Okay, that's probably okay. I don't know. The first print is going to be a bit. It might be brilliant anyway. So, right, let's lay it on. See how it goes on. Not too bad, not very good actually. Yeah, you, you've the first inking, the uh, it kind of sucks it in a bit, so it's actually terrible. Huh? Come on, that's, that's better. I'm not expecting to get a very good print off this first one, but. Never know. So, like, yeah. mm, that's, I like it. you see you kind of as you paint it on you kind of see for the first time the design properly. I've only been this board this border I, I made it was fairly oh, look at that I'm getting that was uh, I just made it up on the spot so I wasn't really sure how it was gonna turn out but it's not too bad really. 
see as you can see I'm already getting it on these raised bits so I'm going to have a bit of um, that on the uh, print unfortunately but can't be helped if I if I was doing this properly I would um, I'd cut some paper out to fit that area so it wouldn't um, ink that area up but uh, this is just a demo isn't it so Oh, there we are, this looks quite nice. Let's get this one out of the way. Um, I'm going to have ink everywhere in a minute, I know it. Oh, hell. There we go, let's put it. No. Um, oh, yeah, okay. there. Right, let's get this big one on and get the main. Oh, hello. Oh, that's nice. Hmm, I think it's alright. Oh, that flower's. Oh yeah, yeah. It's too much ink, really. I think, but we'll see. What I'll do, maybe, is um, it's not going to be a competition or anything. Cause I don't. I've only got thirteen subscribers, so I don't think there's going to be many of you watching this, but. If you want this first copy, which it won't be perfect, um, just leave a comment and I'll pick one out of a hat and I'll send it to you for free. Um, I don't know if you I don't know if anyone will want it to be honest. <sighs> anyway, that'll do. Let's see what that's like. Um, ooh. Um, paper, yes. Right, let's line that up there. Right, it's nothing special this paper, it's just... Okay. There we go. Down, right, now I've got this spoon. Um, you, if you're doing it properly, you'd use a, I think it's called a baron, I think it's called a baron, and what you do is you use it to tease the, uh, squeeze the, um, the, the paper against the image. Now, if you, if you're doing it properly again, if you're doing it professionally, you'd have a press. Um, I looked into those and they were also quite expensive, so I find this is a fairly nice method. You can see the image as it appears through the paper, as you're, you probably can't see that on there, sorry. Um, it won't take long. But as I'm pressing down, I can see the image as it's um, um, imparting its ink to the paper. Uh, yeah, it's all right, not too bad, fairly good. Now, as, as I said, I don't think this is going to be a, a brilliant copy, but... You never know. And if you want it, leave a leave a comment. And uh, next week I'll stick all the names in a hat. <laughs> there may be none. If not, you'll save me the effort of of doing it. But um, yeah, if you fancy it, do that, and uh, you you could actually win it. Yes, competition. Lovely. Right, the big reveal. Let's see what it's like. Hello, Vicar. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. mm. okay, so there we are, it's not too bad, yeah, I've got some um, little um, bits and pieces here, like I said, it's picked up the ink from the, the background, so it shouldn't have done that, and these, see this curly bit here, here, it hasn't come through, so I look at the plate here. Yeah, I haven't carved that bit. I missed that bit. I, I thought I'd been over. I went over that fairly, fairly well. Okay. Well, it's not perfect, um, but if you want it, do what I say, and it could be yours, and it'll be worth a lot of money one day. No, it won't. Well, you never know. Well, it won't. Okay. So there we are. I'll, I'll probably. Oh, oh, oh dear. 
yeah, I'll go back to the other feed and say goodbye. Uh, hello. Right. So one more time. There we go. There's the, the finished print. It's not perfect. Got that little doodad there. So what I'll, what I'll do is I'll, once I've repaired the, the print, I'll do it again. And, and that's what you'll get if you, if you want it, um, you know, competition and all that. Um, so there we are. Right. Um, next week, um, I may have a date ready for the book's release, but I probably won't. But you stay watching these and eventually we'll get there. Okay, I'll say goodbye now. Um, see you next week. Cheerio.